All right, Dexter Henry here. I'm in studio with my guys, Jonathan Macri from the Knicks Film School and CP the Franchise from Knicks Fan TV. And we were here ready to film this week's episode of New York Got Game. And then some news came down. Guys, we have to react to this. Adrian Wojnarowski dropped a Woj bomb. Mm -hmm. Dropped a bomb the Big Knicks one. fans have been waiting for. They've been wanting to talk about a trade. R.J. Barrett, Emmanuel Quickly, draft compensation, what looks like to be a second-round pick from the Knicks, going to Toronto, coming to New York, is O.G. Ananobi and Precious Achua. This was shocking. None of us expected this. We just got the news. I want to get you guys' reaction on this. The fans want to hear this. CP, I'm going to start with you first. You hear this deal. What do you think about this? Is this a good deal for the Knicks? Stunned on many levels. <laughs> Number one, because this was a guy who they targeted from last year, but no one really saw this coming through because of the relationship between the two teams, the lawsuit hovering over them, Masai Ujiri and Dolan, that whole angle. Uh, on top of that, uh, you know, it, it was hard to see R.J. Barrett leaving this team right this second. You know, he was in, in a potential deal for Donovan Mitchell. You know, there was talks that maybe the, we would have some internal development here, but he has struggled. He did struggle as of late, and so maybe a change of scenery will, will do well for him. He goes back home to Toronto. I think that's great for him. The Emmanuel quickly situation, quickly being stuck behind Jalen Brunson, and not really having a path and seemingly wanting to, to go somewhere or have an opportunity to really showcase his talents. Uh, it's unfortunate because I like quickly, I like the impact that he gave to this team, especially as a closer and especially off of the bench. However, in OG Ananobi, you're getting your defensive versatility. You're getting a wing. I've been saying for so long now, we need a wing. And you're getting some three-point efficiency. And so you're getting now a better fit in that starting five. And it's not the star player that everyone's looking for. But with this Knicks team, it may take a couple of tinkering, a couple of tweaks to this roster to get it right. Right now, you need defense. You need three-point efficiency. That's what OG Ananobi is going to bring. The Mitchell Robinson situation you, you get Precious Achua in this mm -hmm. deal, and while he may or may not be the future, you need to address the center position now and for the future because you have Mitchell Robinson, who's now an injury-prone player. You're not sure. They're not sure where what the future holds for Mitch in the, this organization. So, overall, I thought it was a great deal for RJ, IQ, and a second-round pick. You still have most of your first-round picks in your stable. You can still go and upgrade. And, again, you have to think smaller pieces to ultimately get to the larger goal. So that's the thing for me that I was a little shocking here, and you could jump in on this, J-Mac. I was a bit shocked that this only took a second-round pick with the yeah. players attached. Now, there's going to be some people in the fan base, and you guys are well plugged in with that. They're going to say, oh, well, we lost Emmanuel quickly here, fan favorite. Some people who still believed in R.J. Barrett, although he's been struggling. Are you with – you seem like you're with CP I'm, on this. This is a good deal. You like this deal for the Knicks? Absolutely. So, look, and I want to start out by honoring any fans out there who are like, I have trudged through, you know, to use the Shawshank term, 500 uh, yards of you-know-what with this team over the last 20-something years. I finally got a couple of guys that I could really wrap my, my arms around and feel like they're my own. Some people are in the IQ camp. Some people are in the RJ camp. Some people are in both camps. I get it. Sometimes a deal makes too much sense to pass up. What did we hear about with the Donovan Mitchell rumored trade last summer? It's, well, you know, can they get Mitchell but still have enough left over to get that other guy? In trading just these two players out for OG Ananobi and maintaining all of their first-round draft equity, as has been reported so far, we're going to go on the reporting that we have, that allows them to do that. And then you look at the players involved in the deal. CP hit on a lot of it. I'm going to actually look at it from Toronto's angle for, for a quick second. Where was the, the logical landing place for Emmanuel quickly? It was alongside a big wing who initiates the offense. So he could be the nominal point guard, but really he doesn't have to do as much initiating as maybe in some other situations. That's the situation he's in now next to Scotty Barnes. Makes perfect sense for him. They needed that player. And then for RJ, you know, going home to Canada, hopefully that kind of helps him find some consistency. And then on top of all that, you look at the Knicks, who are building around Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle, who are two immensely talented offensive players, but struggle on the defensive end. What do they need to make it work? That skeleton key wing, right, who can create a little bit, can be effective off the ball with his jump shot behind the, behind the three-point arc, and most importantly, can be the type of, and you said this, CP, the versatile wing that can cover, if you need him to cover a center, he could do that. If you need to cover a point guard, he could do that. Put him anywhere on the floor. And there aren't many of those guys out there, let alone guys out there who are available. 
So for them to get this guy, and I understand the talent going out the door is significant, to, to, to get him without unloading all of your draft picks, I, I have it, maybe not a home run, but right now it's hard not to feel great about the deal. Yeah, it's really hard not to feel a way about the deal in that. Knicks fans are going to dissect this more. I know you guys will be doing this. We are going to talk more about this deal on the upcoming episode of New York Got Game. Check that out. But I was blessed to have two of the best Knicks content creators in studio with me as the deal broke down. You heard their reactions to it. We have so much more coming your way on SNY and the New York Post. Stay tuned.